Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Beautiful day. Yeah, it just turned out nice. I know. Kind of enjoyed that little walk I had there a couple minutes it's ago. Not sunny, but it's comfy and stop freezing. It's not. It's not. I was overdressed, to be honest. I know. Long sleeve. So, okay, let me, I'll jump in and then you can, we can jump, dive into this. So we're going to chat about an issue with a with squatters and this is the first kind of thing that that we've come across with squatters we've dealt with you know come across with tenants that don't pay and all that stuff and we know the system but for squatters it's under the same system and no one helps this poor guy so why don't you lead in the story get a little background to it and then we'll get in deep discussion yeah i'll good. share i'll share the screen because um actually one of my clients sent me this this article and said maybe you should uh, do a video on this and I read it and I was like yeah this is a perfect video I could not believe like I'm in shock um that this is allowed it's unbelievable and and you know no one is touching yes we have a housing we have a housing crisis in this in this province there's a shortage of available properties or, or housing for people, but it doesn't give a right to not go through the pro to ignore this problem and say, well, too bad. So sad until we investigate it, what's going on. And you can see. So when Diane's flipping the pictures, I'm going to talk a bit about this, but this gentleman bought this property as a power sale. Someone passed away, mortgage went default, lender takes it over, goes on the real estate market. He, he bought it sight unseen because there was no showings for the, for the property. So he thought, well, how bad can it be? But here's what I don't understand to a point. Obviously, there was real estate professionals involved in this. Why would they let this poor kid go through this is what I would say. You can't get in there to see what's going on. And you and I both know when the power sale property, there's no... It's it's as is, where is, there's no liability on the lender. They scratch all the clauses off. They're well protected. That's a red flag for someone if they can't go in and see what's going on. This poor guy didn't even get keys. <laughs> yeah, so, well, and I bought power of sales and they definitely, yeah. and I've sold power of sales for banks and they definitely allow people in to view it. And you're right. Everything is as is, where is. They don't guarantee you a damn thing, whether it's mold, whether it's, it yep. doesn't matter. You're buying it the way that it is. This and you have that opportunity something. for inspection. You have, they give you the opportunity. Yes, you can do anything you want to do. Yes. So instead, they they instead of giving him keys, they tell him, "Oh, there is no keys. You can just go walk in." Yeah. So he goes there with his father-in-law. Well, I guess he's he he actually proposed to his girlfriend right after he bought the home. They were going to, you know, gut the whole thing down to the studs, redo it. And this was going to be their home. Yeah. Um, so, so he goes the there out. and gets the keys or sorry, walks right in because he didn't get the keys. Yeah. And um, there's I'm going to see exactly how many people were living in it at the time. There was. um There was. Six people sitting on the floor and about 10 people overall inside. Yeah. After telling them he had bought the house and wanted them to leave, a woman picked up her pillow in a small garbage bag and walked down the street in bare feet. Then other people started to come out from other rooms. Some old guy, probably in their 60s or 70s, young guy, some guy said he was just staying with a friend. It was just, it's chaotic. So he called the police to tell them there's trespassers living in his house. And they won't do anything about it. No, because they got legal advice from their lawyers to say this is a civil matter. It has to be Superior Court judge or the landlord tenant board has to deal with this issue. Yes. So yes. he said, I'm just pissed off because I think it's bullshit. Our taxpayers pay for police to do their job. They're negligent. I, I agree with him. Um, and of course, the police, well, police declined to comment, but they were never tenants. They did never had a lease. They never had a right to be in the house ever. Okay, to that point, hold it there, because I snapshotted something when I read the article. 
This drives me bonkers. Okay. It is just the tone of this just gets my blood boiling. And it's important to not prejudge. We can't, we, this is, this is not a prejudge world. We can't prejudge anybody. We got to pat them on the bum and say, it's okay. Situations until they've had the opportunity to weigh in on the evidence, much like criminal cases, we presume parties are innocent until proven guilty. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> because that's just squatters here, homeless people here. This is a problem in this province that they are not dealing with. And landlords are continually, continually, continually dealing with stuff like this, financially hurt, legal fees, you name it. The well, poor guy not, probably loses his home. It's almost been a year, Mark. He's 50 grand in debt now. No. And these people are still there and he can't get them out. He said one of the squatters called him and said they would move out in 48 hours if he paid them $5,000 each. I know. I know. Yeah. He, he offered he, $1,300. He, he offered them $1,300 each, figuring yeah. that would be cheaper than his fees. Yep. And they said, no, that's not enough to cover rent anywhere. So they're not interested. <laughs> See, this is the biggest thing, folks. So... I mentioned this in other videos. I'm going to mention it again. Me and Dan uh, watched a tribunal for the whole day for for three or four hours yep. a couple of weeks ago, and we've seen numerous cases. Okay, anywhere from you know mainly ninety percent of them are non-payment. All of them are non-payment of rent. Okay, out of I don't know, we'll say we listened to ten. This is all across the province. Anyone that didn't show up, meaning a tenant didn't show up to to fight or to you know tell their side of the story automatic standard order was given to the landlord within 30 seconds okay great didn't show up great standard order issued thanks what do you ask we're done two cases jump out at me and i'm not going to go into too much detail about them that the tenants and landlords uh, landlords always shows up the tenants showed up to the zoom meetings and told their story and that really sucked the majority of the time because they you know that took some of these took 35 minutes to hear and what I don't understand, and it's no different than this, these people are fucking squatters, okay? They're living for free. They went through the income on one, one couple. They're bringing in $4,700 net, and the rent is twenty seven, dollars and they just refuse to pay rent. And I visited that property, and I tell you, they're no better than those squatters because they've destroyed this new property. Okay, but the thing is, for me, Mark, where there's a huge, huge difference here. One, you had a lease. They had a lease with those people. They knew the people. They knew where to serve them documents. They knew their names to serve them documents. They knew their emails and their contact information to go to a Zoom meeting. These, these are homeless people. He doesn't know their freaking names. He doesn't have their email addresses. He can't even serve them anything. Who's who's even in charge over there? Wow. Which which one of the ten gets the notice? Well, that's it. But I, I I agree to that. But to to that case to that case I'm referring to to me there's no difference. Well, he, to me there is because he, he, yeah, he we know where they are. He, that's, he, that's the only thing. No, but he he got those tenants. He uh, he's the one that made the contract with that lease. He chose those people. Yeah, oh, yeah, he did. Made a mistake, but he, this, I, I, this I guy, this guy bought a house, had no idea there was these people there, these squatters in there. Now he's stuck with them. Now he should have had walkthroughs. He should have been able to go into the house, even in an agreement, a normal agreement of purchase and sale. You have the right to inspect, and and a power of sale in most banks. That's why they allow you. You have to. You cannot deny that right. There may be more of this story than than what's what's out what's what's being compiled here. We don't know. I agree. To your I point, agree. the banks really don't care. Book a walkthrough. Yep, great, approved, done. We have a record of that. There's a, that there's a walkthrough taking place. And you know, when a bank takes over a property, they put their uh, the property management company comes and changes the locks, and yep. they put their own key in there. Yep. So how did all this get missed? Was there a prop? Like, how did it get missed? Who was the lender? Was it a private lender? That's what I think. That doesn't have the resources to do this. They didn't want to spend money on it. Went, 
sorry, you can't see the property. We're selling it sight unseen. Maybe these are the rules you wanted. If you don't, bang, right? That's kind of what I think. Oh, right? A normal big bank has a process and there's Correct. no way that that process was done here. So let's talk about that point for a second. So people that, you know, yes, we do see power sales on the real estate board. It's important maybe to look and see who the lender is because it will say it on there. CIBC or TD or RBC, it's going to say it there. But if it's some mortgage company or, or someone's Ontario Inc., blah, 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 and you can't see the property, don't buy it. No, run away. Run away. Because this poor gentleman here that, that bought this property, wow, like what a mistake. You want to know what's even crazier when you read this? He went to the city to shut off the services, the water and the heat. They won't do it. They have rights. This is the problem. There should be no rights. Well, they're not tenants. They're, they're, so you're not telling tenants for one, even if they're, I, I, I believe a system should be better in, in this province, like other, other provinces like BC, where 10 days, boom, goodbye, see you later. That's the way it should be. We shouldn't be, Ontario was dealing with this then because they're not dealing with it. They just, can't make a decision and we need weeks to make a decision back. I'm going to flip back to those two people, those two cases we were talking about. How could the tribunal judge go? I can't make a decision today. Like, holy fuck. Let's be he honest. He, you, you know why? He didn't want to, he didn't want to fight with them. It doesn't matter. But that's his job then to make a decision. <laughs> the law. You don't pay. You're not paying your rent. It's not done. What's it's cut and dry. I know it's, it's, it's cut and dry. They have no you know what I don't yet. understand? Say somebody, Mark, came and started living in my garage. Same shit as this. So they came and they set up house in my garage. I couldn't yeah. get them out? Probably. No, you're not getting them out. Nope. Like, to me, they're trespassing. He owns the house. Yeah. They don't, they, they have nothing to do with this house. Yeah, well, look at the rules down in Florida. <laughs> I remember watching a TikTok a couple of weeks ago. This is true. There's there's people that were coming at like trespassers on the property. And and the and the and the sheriff says, We just prefer if you just shoot them. It saves us <laughs> all kinds of time. I, I almost <laughs> fell over. And this is and he's not laughing, he's saying this straight. And if you need if you need gun training. We offer gun training and safety training to get trained on how to use a firearm. It saves us all kinds of money. This doesn't happen in country. This shouldn't be happening in this country today. And it's happening over and over and over and over. I did a video yesterday similar on, on the same kind of topic, Diane. I got probably 80 comments all from landlords. We've got out of this business. We are never returning to this business ever. We've got burnt. We've got screwed over. The issues with the LTB are making it impossible to, to do this anymore. We've done renting out our basement apartments. Done. Yeah, I've actually had a lot of comments to that too. I've just never heard of this, like a squatter. This is for the new extremes. And, and they get to fall under that act. They're not tenants. Why are they trespassers? Yeah. That's, that's my thing. Like if you actually had a lease and everything else and you were a tenant and you pay for a certain amount of time and then you stop paying, that's one thing. These are people that they never, they are not tenants. They're squatters. They're taking up space in, in, in these properties, these abandoned houses. And that was a, those pictures truly shows it's been abandoned. For a minute, for a long time. Yes. Right. Damaged windows, everything. So that's going to breed them. Right. No different than we see abandoned buildings downtown or whatever. And you see there are people living in them. Let's yeah. be honest. So, but well, even that, you know, how my son is working building new houses and they had one where they had put in the basement, like they had the framing up, but that's it. And they came in and there was, some guy downstairs with a sleeping bag sleeping down. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. there was no walls up, right. but there was a roof on it and framing. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. I mean, it's tough living on the streets today. I get it. And, and our, and our, and our, and our leaders are doing nothing about it. We're not talking about it. We just keep saying we need more housing and nothing gets done, but where's the money to support this, this, this issue in this province? They, it's not, it's nowhere to be found. No one's doing anything about it. They're just passing over to people like this poor guy and legal fees to get people out like this is, is, is absurd. It's just so wrong. And I just... don't understand why the police like, so I'm going to say this little scenario and then we'll wrap it up because I want one more thing too. Go ahead. So I had, I had one where I leased it to this for our client and we leased it to this lady and she had uh, two kids and I won't say her name. And she was uh worked at a place for like 15 years she had great income great credit everything was great mm -hmm. so we get a call he gets a call from the neighbor about six months later and says you know there's a whole bunch of men living in that house and it seems like she's gone so he asked me to drive by there mm -hmm. so i drive by there and there's like four cadillacs old Cadillacs pulled in two in the driveway, one on the lawn, everything. And um, I'm seeing all kinds of people, men milling around. Yeah. So I called my client. I said, I'm not knocking on that front door. Not safe. Yeah. I said, I don't know who's in there, but there's a bunch of them and they all look like guys. And I don't know if they're drug dealers. I don't know what they are, but I'm, I'm not knocking on the door by myself. Yeah. So I text her and I say, hey, who the hell is living in the house? Because you're not. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I subleased it to some of my uh, to my boyfriend's friends. And I said, well, you can't do that. I said, you can't just allow somebody else to move in there. And like I said, just so you know, I'm calling the police. They'll be there in. And I did call the police. They'll be there within 15 and 20 minutes. So I suggest if they're doing anything illegal, they better hightail it out. Yeah. I got there 20 minutes later. So did the police. They were gone. They left. Yeah. And you don't want to know what was all over that house. Well, needles, I can Needles, needles, yeah. used sex things. Yeah. Um, like you don't even want to know how bad it was. It was horrendous in there. There was like drugs on the table. There was, it was horrendous. So that point too, it's funny you brought that up because I had a friend call me um, about five, six weeks ago. She goes, Mark, I need some, some advice on this. We have a, a condo downtown in the city, um, rented it out, tenants stopped paying for five or six months a bit. And, you know, we were trying to help work with them. They obviously had some kind of relationship. Long and behold, he ain't paying the bill. Guess what he did? He sublet it out to a bunch of students. They were living in closets. There was like eight or nine people living in a one-bedroom apartment. People sleeping on the floors with sleeping bags. Husband went to, to, to check it, of course, brought the police, and that's it. So the scumbag tenant that had the lease can't pay. So he took money from all these people and said, here you go, and took that money. First and last and all. <laughs> They laugh. Some of them laugh, but it took like a three weeks to the following to go to, to to leave. Like it's really bad out there when when you know tenants aren't paying. They just your story and now this story. Okay, great. We're just gonna leave. Great, we'll take first and last. Great. So there you go. Well, right? and my client had no knowledge because he was still getting the rent. Yeah, and the only and the only reason that. They found out about it was the con was the concierge called them and says, there's all kinds of key fob, like people are coming in and out of all crazy hours. I think there might be an issue here. That's the only way they found out. This this rent, this bad tenant, this would have carried on and on and on. Time to get him out. It's six months, seven months. He's pocketed an extra what? 15k in rent whatever yeah. it's unbelievable well and i think the only reason we got lucky mark was because they were doing illegal activity and they were like it was all over the place and because we gave them no notice they just left everything there yep. like a mess right yep. and my yep. clients got me to come in when uh you know once the police were there and everything we walked through i oh my god i like 
it wasn't even necessarily like holes in the walls and dirt. Yeah. But we're talking like used condoms, Mark. Yeah. It's... All over, on the floor, on the, like, oh. Yeah. Wow. And my client even said, like, she says, I, 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 I'm going to have to clean this myself because I'm embarrassed to call a cleaner. I'd call a restoration company. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the cleaner. She had like hazmat suit gloves. I wouldn't have touched it. I was, I was like, this is horrendous. Like, yep. yep, yep. Well, this is what happens, right? This is what's, this is what's going on. And I saw on uh, Instagram the other day, a guy was doing a, a TikTok that I, I mean, a video that I follow. And now these squatters are doing this to Airbnbs now. This is the newest thing. A new trend is, well, hard to find apartment. So let's go do it. Let's go book it a weekend at some Airbnb and let's just stay. They don't so, leave. They're getting in. Go oh, screw yourself. This is what's happening. And I went, are you kidding? So these people that take to the Airbnb are going to go through the same thing as this poor guy is going through now. They're not leaving. We refuse to leave. What are the cops going to do? They just showed right there. They do nothing. Well, this is the press. I, I must say, with the Barry police, when I called, they they came. Yeah, I yeah. said like I I don't even my client doesn't know who's in there. There's five or six men that I can see from the outside. I said we rented it to a lady and her two kids. So like the they're trespassing in there. I don't know who they are, and they came. Yeah. Well, I think they'll come, but they, they don't get involved. But there was some criminal stuff going on there. So that's probably why they don't know who these people are. Maybe that was suspicious. Who knows? Right. But I mean, well, I think because the, the, whoever was there, because they knew they were doing illegal things and the cops were about to show up, yeah. they bailed. Yeah. Well, so, you know, folks, just again, be careful out there. Like the rental game is just a totally different game than it than it was a couple. Well, of years and ago. don't buy something that you cannot walk in, that you don't get to view, have a walk through, and get That's keys. Right. That's right. That's just a, I like, can't believe that agent didn't you know step in. I, I, we only know a bit of it, but whatever. But wow, like that. that's red flags everywhere. Everywhere. So, folks, give this a like, give it a share, follow for more information. Got questions? Definitely leave a comment. I love comments. Okay. Perfect. See you. See ya.